Hey, my name is Jobby, and today we're taking a look at my new wife. But before I go gushing all over this figure, what is Monster Hunter? I never played it, but I do know that it is a Capcom game where you hunt down monsters, wear their skin, and eat their flesh. And the Gorn Magala is one of the coolest monsters from the game. But what if the Gorn Magala was a weeaboo wet dream? That's where Armor Girls Project comes in. Armor Girls Project is a line of figures by Bandai, and it's basically a series of cute anime girls with badass armor. They've got Gundam, Kantai Collection, and this. Sweet. Beautiful this. In between this figure and Quetzalcoatl, I can safely say, I wanna fuck a dragon. The painting and the sculpting on this figure is amazing. The dark and intimidating Gore Magala is reimagined as a dark and elegant gothic Lolita. But instead of looking like a Hot Topic reject, there's a certain air of class to this design. The black and purple is a beautiful color combination, and the details are painted really cleanly. The face sculpt on this figure is one of the most attractive I've ever seen, but the striking red eyes make her look somewhat threatening, and something I absolutely love. All of her alternate faces are full of life and personality. I especially love this annoyed face and the shit-eating grin. She's also got a few other accessories. That's a bit of an understatement because this figure is loaded with accessories, but we'll get to all of that later. The hands come off a little too easily, but that makes way for a pair of fists, pair of open hands, relaxed hands, and a pair of grabby hands. And you get this mess of joints, which I wouldn't call an accessory, more like an integral part of the figure. But before we can do that, some assembly is required. And a little Monster Hunter Cross Armor Girls Project or Magala pro tip, you need to make sure that the pegs are all the way in. Alright, now we can play dress up. These things come into play later, but we'll leave them here for now. So in promotional images, the tail is left out, but I prefer to fold it up. And here we have the frenzy mode. I don't know why a barroom dress is called the frenzy mode, but I'm assuming it's a reference to the games. I just love how elegant yet intimidating it looks. And to make her look even more graceful, you get an umbrella. And just like the dress itself, the umbrella is both beautiful and threatening. It's both kind of dumb, but also I'm in love. You can remove this piece from the bow on the back, which allows you to plug in the included stand. But she stands perfectly fine on her own. Now the the only real problem I have with this beautiful dress is the fact that a lot of the pieces don't plug in or snap together, and because of that the dress is not as solid as I'd like it to be. But besides that, the frenzy mode is fantastic. Now the best way I can describe the feel of this figure is a Bandai licensed Figma figure. She's got a similar amount of detail and a comparable amount of swivel. She can look up that far and down that far, head pivot, the hair can move up and down but it comes off too easily. Ball joint at the arm, shoulders can extend for even more range, arm moves Moves out, little bit of a swivel, bend at the elbow, up and down at the wrist, but if you rotate the peg, you can get some side to side. Ball joint at the chest, allows her to arc really far and crunch, and it allows a degree of swivel. The waist has a really tight swivel. Ball joint at the hips, allows for rotation, the leg can move back that far. Bend at the knee, ankle moves up and down, and a pretty good pivot. Oh, and also what's And if you so choose, you can plug the stand into the same hole the dress plugs into. Poseability is pretty damn good, but obviously the leg poseability is restricted by the dress. And just as her poseability can be compared to Figma, her size is also very Figma-like. Here's Figma Madoka Kaname, Figma Hamura Akemi, Figma Satsuki Kiryuin, which I swear these two look like her parents, Godzilla Optimus Prime, and another Monster Hunter figure, the Chogokin Rathalos. So if this was all there was to the figure, I would be okay with it. But thankfully, she comes with these extra pieces which allows things to get crazy. And here we have the raging frenzy mode. Unlike the pretty little dress caught the frenzy mode, these big ass dragon arms caught the raging frenzy mode. Very appropriate name. And the painting and the sculpting on these things is absolutely beautiful. And I love how these aren't just creepy organic dragon arms, they're very mechanical looking. But the base figure with her new limbs looks a lot less mechanical, but nonetheless, 
really cool. The contrast of the intimidating Gormagala arms and the petite anime girl that they're connected to makes me feel a weird cocktail of emotions. I guess I'm into monster girls because this thing's fucking hot. Now I'm not complaining about the mysterious hair over eye look, but in this mode, the out of the way hair allows you to see her personality much more clearly. And if you think the arms are a little bit goofy looking, which is completely understandable, you can display her without them. This makes handling the rest of her accessories a little bit easier. Just like her normal form, the hands come off easily, which leaves it open for a pair of relaxed hands, open hands, and grabby hands. These grabby hands allows her to hold these swords, which look more like machetes. And these machetes have another use. <laughs> This bow and arrow looks so cool, but unfortunately, it's a little hard to get it to look natural in her hands, but it's not impossible. And for her final weapon... The umbrella turns into a club-looking thing that presumably shoots lasers. I'm guessing this weapon is supposed to represent the mouth of the Gore Magala. Blah, 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 blah. You can attach this little clip on here, which allows her to hold this weapon in her wing hands. Be very careful with these, they're- <laughs> Now I don't want to call it a problem, but the edges make it really difficult to handle this thing. The fact that this figure could draw blood is even more of a turn on. Now I was surprised, amazed, spum in my pants, that this figure has no trouble standing up on her own, even with these giant arms on her back in some poses. For more extreme poses, you could always plug her into the included stand, and you get even more stand pieces to prop up her arms, which I find a little unnecessary. The arms can carry themselves. And on the subject of poses, it's pretty much the same as the normal form, except with a more limited pivot that sucks. But as for the wings, rotation at the bow, which is loose, rotation at the tail, moves up and down, and a hinge at the end. Rotation at the shoulder, arm moves out, hinge joint, hinge joint, rotation, ball joint here, which pops off too easily, up and down, Bend at the elbow, wrists, up and down, another, <laughs> rotation here, hinge joint, hinge joint, ball joint at the thumb, ball joint at the base of each finger, and a hinge joint for each finger. Besides the fact that it hurts to handle, the raging frenzy mode is pretty much perfect. I mean, sure, the big arms could get annoying to handle at first, but once you get the hang of it and know what all the fiddly bits can do, this figure is so fun to pose. And speaking of po- wait, I just did that. Now the height of this figure, pretty much the same as last time, but the armor adds a lot of length. Marika, Hamra, Satsuki, Godzilla Prime, and Rathalos. Now you can call me blinded by beauty, stupid, both of which are true, but I have to say, this figure is amazing. The beautiful painting and sculpting, the sheer amount of accessories that you get, and of course, that badass Raging Frenzy mode, make this figure worth it. What can I say? I, I haven't felt this much in love since Gao Gai Gar, probably. I, I have to tell you how I really feel. L is for the way you look at me. O is for the only one. I see V is very, very extraordinary Is even more than anyone that you adore and Fuck you